Hi, Aubrey, it's Mrs. LeFaber. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite stories. And I know that you love dogs, so I'm hoping that you will enjoy this book too. It's called Let's Get a Pup, Said Kate by Bob Graham. The end of Kate's bed was a lonely place. Tiger the cat no longer slept there. Tiger died last winter. So there were only Kate's two feet to keep each other company. Now Kate woke to the full summer with the sun pouring over the back fence. Let's get a pup, said Kate. Let's get a pup, said Kate. What, a brand new one, said now wide awake mom. With the wrapping still on, added breathless dad. Pups don't come wrapped, replied Kate. I know they don't, said dad. It was just a joke. Mom looked in the paper. It must be small, said Kate. And cute, said dad. And get all excited, said Kate. And run around in circles, said dad. Hmm, said mom. Look, the rescue center. A center for dogs without a home. A center for dogs all alone. With their breakfast uneaten, they dressed and left immediately. At the rescue center, they found plenty of dogs without a home and lots of dogs all alone. They found big dogs, small dogs, scratchers and sleepers, wired haired, short haired, scratchers and leapers. They found fighters and fighters, growlers and snarlers, short dogs, dogs long and thin, and dogs with their cheeks sucked in. They also found happy dogs, sad dogs, take me dogs, and dogs who couldn't care less. They saw smelly dogs, fat dogs, lean and mean dogs, chew them up and spit them out dogs, and dogs like walking nightmares. Then they saw Dave. Dave was so excited. He came out, came out sideways, he barked twice, water flew off his tongue, and he turned a complete circle in the air. He was small, he was cute, and he was brand new. Dave climbed right over the top of Kate, who briefly wore him like a hat. He was all we want, said Kate. All that we came for, said mom. We'll take him, said dad. Then they saw Rosie and she saw them. She was old and gray and broad as a table. It was difficult for her to get to her feet, but she stood, it seemed almost politely. Her eyes watered, her ears went back and she radiated good intentions. My wish for you, said dad, is that someone is that you could lie on someone's living room floor or on their couch, said mom, or on someone's bed, said Kate. Mom's voice shook. We would take them all if we could, but what can we do? And with many backwards glances, they slowly walked away. At home, Dave was everything that a pup could be and more. On the first night, he cried in his box. The next morning, Kate's mom and dad received a good licking. Dave cried last night, so he slept with me, said Kate, but I didn't sleep. Neither did I, said dad. I was wishing, neither did I, said mom. I was wishing. With their breakfast once again uneaten, they dressed and left immediately. At the rescue center, Rosie was waiting for them. Let's get you home, said dad. Rosie was instantly at home. Her broad, heavy tail swept everything off the low table. I've seen a dog smelling a man, but never a man smelling a dog, said Kate's mom. She needs a bath, said dad. Now dad's wish has come true. Rosie is asleep on the living room floor with Dave to keep her company. Mom's wish has also come true. Now Rosie and Dave are asleep on the couch. And what about Kate's wish? Will it come true as well? Yes, Dave and Rosie will get to sleep on someone's bed. Kate put her head on Rosie's stomach. She hears angry gurgles, squeaks and, and plops, lonely corkscrew sounds, and the pump, pump, pump of Rosie's heart, like a big hollow engine room. Kate's feet are no longer under the blankets. It seems like Dave and Rosie have always been there 
their weight is comfortable and reliable and will stop Kate's bed from floating away into the night. Well, Aubrey, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I do. Um, and we'll see you soon.